Sup dudes, I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank Lamantia. And we, we are, are the, the Sup dudes. dudes. Coming at you again from the movie theater parking lot like we normally do in the car. Now you might be saying to yourself, dudes, four times in a row, when are you going to stop? Shut up, we know, all right? We're going to just put out videos whenever we feel like we're going to put out videos. We don't have a schedule quite we, yet. We promise we'll have some different stuff soon. Yeah, we promise. We just got to work on it with everything this happening. It's just the easiest thing to do. Exactly. So, we just saw The Little Things, starring Coach Herman, Freddie Mercury, and Joker, or basically Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, and Jared Leto. <laughs> Okay. You see what I did there? Yeah, I saw what you did there. I just tried I to be... I wasn't sure where you were going, but yeah, it's then... Yeah. Just try to be a little cute, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. This is going to be an interesting review, let me tell you. <laughs> Apparently, according to him. I liked it. I'm going to say that right now. I really liked this movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think... What do we just... Give a little rundown about the movie, or...? Yeah, why not? So, basically, long story short, there's a serial I wish killer. Was short. What? <laughs> I wish it was short. <laughs> It's over two hours, but go ahead. So long story short, it's about a serial killer played by Jared Leto and Rami Malek. Maybe. And maybe. Go ahead. Are we really going to do this? What? Yeah, whatever. No. Hey, you don't want to... Well, we don't know. that He's a suspect in the movie. Uh, which... That is true. So that's not really a spoiler, but go ahead. That is true, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's Jared Leto as the serial killer, now that you mm -hmm. bring up a good point about that. Yep. And then it's Denzel Washington and Rami Malek who are basically trying to solve these mm -hmm. murdered women, disappearing women cases. Yes, uh, Malek is a detective. Yep. And Denzel Washington used to be a detective, and now he's in uh, uniform again. And he's a deputy it, cop. It, there's some kind of there's some kind of tension back there that you know you find out later on what happened. So we're not gonna uh, spoil that. But right away you feel something's off. Between exactly. him and the rest of the department and another um, department in another town. But, uh, so, I mean, that's a little interesting part. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, go ahead. So, again, we usually talk about the goods and the bads. I'm going to start with the goods, I guess. So, I liked it. I'm a big fan of, like, cop shows. Criminal Minds, Law & Order, NCIS, just to name a few. My biggest one being Criminal Minds, of course. Mm. So, going into this as, like, a cop, like a cop movie, detective movie... Again, I kind of liked it. And of course, like I said, you have Coach Herman, Freddie Mercury, and Joker. I mean, come on. That's a good three-person lineup right there. Coach and, Herman. Okay. Yeah, Coach Herman. I, I, re I like to remember the Titans if you didn't get the no, reference. I I'm, I'm talking about to them. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I liked it. I thought they were all really good actors. They all played their parts really well. I absolutely loved when they actually had Jared Leto talking. It took a little while into the movie before he really got to do any of his like talking and his yeah, lines. Yeah, he came in late. He did come in late, but I absolutely loved how he played crazy. Of course, we all know that he played the Joker, like I said, a couple times now. Is, well, is, is that going to be another counter right here or not? Eh, I keep mentioning that. We'll, we'll, play. See. we'll <laughs> see. And so I know he can kind of do crazy, but this crazy was different, and I I liked it. I thought it really fit well with the, the story, with the movie. I thought everything that he did, I, to me, really raised the movie at parts for me. So that's my good stuff. And then you want to go to your good stuff? Oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he was he was actually good. The crazy he plays crazy really well. And that was uh, actually an interesting character. And it kinda livened the film for me in a at a point where it needed livening up. Uh so I'm sorry, I'm mixing some good and bad there. But it was good. <laughs> Denzel's always good. Um Oh my Malik, god, you can tell he's getting older with his hair oh, in the movie. Yeah. Well, you don't know how much of it is yeah. makeup or uh, that's true. But still he is you can see it in his face, definitely. Yeah. Um and Malik, he's he's was surprisingly good too. At first, you want to hate him because they're, they're at odds, uh, but then they have to work together. So, he's a that's a good character also. And um, the three of them interacting, it kind of lifted the movie a little bit more for me than I'll tell you the the downside later. But <laughs> go ahead. All right, um, I guess we'll go to the bad sides. I just can't wait to hear what you say on the bad <laughs> side. So I'll make mine kind of short. Go ahead. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff that I found, like, bad about it. I mean, like, again, we all know I'm a big fan of action movies. This wasn't really an action movie. This was more like suspense, thriller kind of a thing. I don't know yeah, if you can call it a thriller, yeah, but more there, suspenseful. There was, yeah, it was very suspenseful. It's a crime drama, a lot of suspense, a lot yeah. of... So, there wasn't a whole lot of action, and no. so I really can't talk about that. But 
when they did make it suspenseful, I think that they did it really well. Like, of course, with the music, with the camera cuts, with like the acting all together, mm-hmm. I think that blended together really well. Um, that's uh, that's I don't know why I'm saying good stuff, but the bad wise, like I said, not a lot of action. So it kind of like if you're not if you're into action, it's gonna drag a little bit. A little bit. Um, there were just some scenes where it's just like <laughs> I got kind of confused as to what they were talking about. The, yeah, the, like I said once before, um, sometimes the sound is like so overproduced you can't really even make out the dialogue. Um, I don't know if that's the case here. I don't know if it's my hearing. I'm getting old, <laughs> but like uh, it could be their accents. Uh, well, only one guy really had an accent, but uh, yeah, when I don't and when I can't make out the dialogue, it kind of just drops a bomb in the whole spot because I don't know what's what they're saying and I get confused, but. Yeah. So, I mean, that's basically all I had bad wise was just like there was a good amount of parts that I got kind of got confused as to what they were talking about. Again, some dialogue getting muddled. And again, I don't know if it's my hearing as well and everything else. But all in all, like th- that's all my bad stuff. So let's turn it over to Frank. All right. Um, right. I'm glad we talked this out a little bit because I was ready to trash this movie. Okay, and we were arguing about it inside. <laughs> I was saying, you know, this is horrible, horrible, horrible. Yep. Now that we talk about it, it's not that horrible. But um, the good points we spoke about, okay, uh, Leto levitated uh, the movie with the bad guy uh, role. and um, A lot better than he did in Suicide Squad, I'll be honest. Yeah, well, you know, I, I saw Suicide <laughs> Squad. I probably nodded off because I saw it in my friend's apartment. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, I don't remember him too much in Suicide Squad. He wasn't into too much, though, so... Oh, okay, okay, because I thought he was, like, a big piece of it. Anyway, we're not doing Suicide Squad. Uh, this movie's a very slow burn. Now, I don't mind slow burns as long as there's a couple of sparks along the way, you know, and usually it ends in a big flash. Like, uh, what, what this reminded me of a little bit Uh, because it was inferior to this movie I'm going to mention. This reminded me a lot of Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Now, that was a bit of a slow burn, but it had a couple of punches along the way. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. It was about uh, a killer who uh, his murders uh, emulated. Emulated, I guess. Uh, The the Seven Deadly Sins. It's a a good movie. It's another slow burn, but it, it wakes you up every once in a while. This one... Didn't really wake me up too much until Leto's character. We'll review Seven at one point, most likely. What happened? We'll review Seven, most likely, at yeah, one point. Yeah, maybe as a, as a flashback. Yeah. Um, so th- that was my complaint. But like I said, we talked it out. It, it has its good points. Um, it's a lot slower than I would like. I, and like I said in, in an early review, I don't have to have a lot of action as long as the story is good. The story, if you look... At an overview, the story is okay, but it does get confusing in spots because they do jump around back and forth. And, yeah, you know, with people's histories and so again, not capturing all the dialogue kind of confused the issue. So uh, I didn't really enjoy it that much. All right, guys. Well, as you know, so if you talked about it, we're gonna do scores, and yes. I'm gonna let you take it <laughs> again to start because I kind of want to see where this is yeah, going right away. Um, all right, I don't want to totally trash it. Uh, what was a low score? Well, no, forget that one. Uh, <laughs> Wonder Woman. Yeah, that was a really bad one. And, you gave that one and, a two, by the way, Wonder Woman. Yeah, a two something. I'll yeah, put it. I'll put it in yeah, here somewhere. Yeah, because yeah, that was horrible all the way except for the <laughs> beginning. But um, all right, this one had its moments. It was okay. So I'm gonna, I'll give it a four. A four. I'll give it a four. Wow. I'm sorry. All right. Well, like I said, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give it a higher rating than a four. Go ahead. Um, it's your prerogative. The microphone drops off. You heard the noise. I'm sorry about that. You have the right to be wrong. Yeah. So, oh my God. <laughs> so if that's the case, I'm going to give this movie a 7.5, honestly. Okay. All right. I think, again, I think a lot of the confusion really brought it down for me, but... All in all, I think it was a really well done movie, to say the least. So as you know, our average score is going to be right 
here somewhere. I'm doing this hand because the microphone won't stand up, so I'm holding the microphone right now. That's okay. Raw, unedited footage, guys. Just letting you know because... I mean, maybe from a technical standpoint, it had a lot of good points, but when I see a movie, I don't really care about like cinematography or anything like that. I do. So. I like the story. I, I need, it needs to move along for me. The acting, like I said, the acting was fine, but um, it just didn't grab me. All right, so long story short, final thoughts. I'm going to say... Um, Denzel, Rami, and Jared did a really great job in this movie. I would highly recommend to go watch um, The Little Things. I think it was a good movie. I think you're going to enjoy it if you're into like the crime drama stuff. So I would say recommend it. I don't know. Yeah, and the, you know the title gets mentioned a couple times uh, during the investigations and stuff. <laughs> like you know, you got to look at the little things and in investigations and things like that. Yep. But it doesn't really like hit home. Um, I don't think, but. I wouldn't recommend it. Wait for it to come out on uh, cable or streaming, whatever you do. Whatever you stream on. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, that about wraps it up for movie review number four, The Little Things. With that being said, I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank Lamantia. And we, we are, are the, the Sub Dudes. Sub -dudes.